I think we're all thinking about this right now. Okay, but it's not time to panic. It's time to get ready. In this video, we're gonna go over the top tips to prevent coronavirus. Right now we're doing social distancing, or as I like to say, physical distancing, because we can still be social, just in different ways, right? So instead of the regular way, Janet and I are filming from our separate homes. How are you handling it, Janet? Last week, my husband and I had our first coronavirus fight. And cliche enough, it was over toilet paper. My son's in college about an hour away and he texted me that they're running low. This is five 20 something year olds in one apartment with no toilet paper. I went into panic mode and was determined to find him some. We had about 24 rolls for our family of three and my husband didn't want to spare five rolls and he would only give me permission to share two rolls. I was so stubborn, I was sure I could find toilet paper to replace it. But after several days of going from store to store chasing shipments I never found any I even went out of state so we had some stress and tension but we got through the crisis what about you and your family how's it going overall I would say it's been interesting and fun and challenging and crazy I've really enjoyed being with my kids at home seeing them in a kind of a school setting my kids are in a language immersion program and I have no idea how to help them with that but uh, but we're all having a good time we'd love to hear in the comments how you're managing during this time of higher stress and a lot of adjustments we really care about our viewers we feel like we're all in this together but even with these setbacks we plan to keep filming to bring you our series on fighting flu and viruses we really want to give you practical research information that that you can apply at home right now. As you know, there's currently no vaccine to prevent coronavirus. So the best way to prevent it is to avoid being exposed to it. Older adults and people who have severe underlying chronic medical conditions like heart or lung disease or diabetes seem to be at higher risk for developing more serious complications from COVID-19. Be sure to consult with your healthcare provider about additional steps you may be able to take to protect yourself. Tip number one, spread out. The virus is thought to spread mainly from person to person between people who are in close contact with one another within about six feet. And six feet is a lot more space than you think. Your arm is about 2.2 feet on each side. So I have about five feet when I put out both of my arms. We really need to do this quickly so we can space out at the the store and other public places. Is that happening near you? I think that my community is doing a good job at following this advice. This virus spreads through respiratory droplets produced when an infected person coughs or sneezes. And that's why it's so important to cough into our elbow. <coughs> These airborne droplets can land in the mouths or noses of people who are nearby or possibly be inhaled into the lungs. This is really dangerous and we have to take it seriously. Remember to spread out in public places. Give everyone around you more space, even at Costco. Tip number two, washing our hands with soap and water. Please clean your hands often. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds, especially after you have been in a public place or after blowing your nose or coughing or sneezing or touching anything that is frequently touched by others. If soap and water are not readily available, use hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% isopropyl alcohol. 70% is better. Cover all surfaces of your hands and then rub them together until they feel dry. We have an in-depth video on washing your hands linked below in the video description. We go into a lot more detail and also show you how to get your kids doing it too. Hand washing has been shown again and again to be the number one way to prevent the spread of infectious diseases. It's easy to do, do it often. One little pro tip though, get yourself some lotion. Your hands are gonna get dry, they're gonna get cracked with all the hand washing, so take care of those hands. Tip number three, avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hands. We all do it and we don't even realize it. It's almost impossible not to. And we touch our faces even more when we're anxious, embarrassed, or stressed, bored, or for no reason at all. We're most likely to touch the areas around our chin, mouth, nose, and eyes. You know, scratching your nose, which you can do like this, biting your nails or rubbing your eyes. One study showed that people on trains touch their faces between nine and 23 times per hour on average. When it comes to a disease like the new coronavirus, that is a recipe for fast transmission. Your face has so many places where infections can enter your body and your hands can be contaminated without you knowing it. Here are some things to help you stop touching your face. First, look for a substitute behavior like using the back of your arm I'm gonna go rub my eyes and I'm like, oh, let's say my nose itches. Instead of using my hands, I use my forearm. Keep your hands busy. One way you can fight the urge to touch your face is by using a stress ball 
or something like that to keep your hands occupied. Others have had success fiddling with a rubber band wrapped around their wrist. Ask someone to help you by pointing out when you're touching your face. Remind your kids throughout the day not to touch their face. Tip number four, avoid close contact by staying at home. Avoid contact with people who are sick. Put a distance between yourself and other people if COVID-19 is spreading in your community. This is especially important for people who are at higher risk of getting sick. Take steps to protect others. Remember to check on older people in your neighborhood, your relatives, help them stay safe by picking up things at the store if you have to go. But remember to try to limit the trips to the store. The best place to avoid people right now is at home. Sit back and watch Netflix and just chill or Disney Plus or whatever. And remember, if you have Amazon Prime, you can actually watch Amazon for free. We have some upcoming videos on what you can do at home with your kids coming up next week. Tip number five, stay home if you're sick except to get medical care. Do not go to work. If you go to work when you're sick, you endanger others. And if your kids are still in school, do not send them if they're sick. If you do get sick, watch our video on what to do. We'll put a link in the video description below. Tip number six, cover coughs and sneezes. Cover your mouth and a nose with a tissue when you cough or sneeze, or use the inside of your elbow. Throw used tissues in the trash. Remember, those tissues can spread COVID-19, so treat them accordingly. Don't leave them on your table or on your bed thinking you'll throw it away later. Throw it away as soon as you're done with it. Then, make sure to go wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. If soap and water aren't readily available, as I mentioned before, use hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Tip number seven. If you're sick, you should wear a face mask when you're around other people like sharing a room or in the car, and before you enter a healthcare provider's office. If you're not able to wear a face mask, for example, because it causes trouble breathing, then you should do your best to cover your coughs and sneezes, and people who are caring for you should wear a face mask if they enter your room. Now, if you are not sick, you do not need to wear a face mask, unless you're caring for someone who is sick and they are not able to wear a face mask. Face masks are in short supply, they should be safe for caregivers. Right now, it seems like it's almost fashionable to wear a face mask, but it's so important that you don't use it if you don't need it. If you want to wear one them for fashion, we'll put a link to Amazon where you can buy costume versions. Doctors, nurses, and other medical professionals are having to reuse face masks because we don't have enough. Tip number eight, clean and disinfect. Clean and disinfect frequently surfaces that are touched daily. This includes tables, doorknobs, light switches, countertops, handles, desks, phone, keyboards, toilets, faucets, and sinks, any place that you touch on a regular basis in your house. Mentally think about it as you go about your day, things that you touch a lot, and then be sure to go and clean those. The easy way to do this is right before you go to bed. That way when you wake up, you know that your home is clean and ready for the day. If surfaces are dirty, clean them. Use detergent or soap and water prior to disinfecting. In order to disinfect, you can use the most common EPA registered household disinfectants. Make sure to use the disinfectants that are appropriate for the surface. We like the simple solution below. You can pick up a handy spray bottle to put this in. While you're at it, get some simple white towels for cleaning. Amazon is great because you don't have to go out and get them. We'll put the links below, but they're handy because when you are done cleaning, you can just throw them in the washer and wash it in hot water with bleach. Make sure you watch our video on cleaning towels and linens. We'll link that in the video description down below. Tip number nine, the simple solution. You may be asking, what is the simple solution? Well, it's just basic diluted household bleach. Diluting your bleach. To make a bleach solution, mix five tablespoons, which is a third of a cup, bleach per gallon of water, or four teaspoons of bleach per quart of water. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for application and proper ventilation. Check to ensure the product is not past its expiration date. And never mix household bleach with ammonia or any other cleanser. Unexpired household bleach will be effective against coronaviruses when properly diluted. Or you can use isopropyl alcohol, but ensure that it's at least 70%. Let it sit on the surface for at least 30 seconds to disinfect. Alcohol is generally safe for all surfaces, but can discolor some plastic. Finally, tip number 10. The most important thing you can do right now really is to stay calm. Stay calm for yourself, stay calm for your family. Remember, your kids are watching you too. If they see you being anxious and nervous, that can make them feel anxious and nervous as well. And we don't want them worrying about things like this. Make sure to educate your kids about coronavirus, but don't scare them. 
Thanks everybody for watching. Remember, if you liked what you saw today, subscribe and ring the notification bell to get notified of all our future videos. Don't forget to share and pin this video so your friends can see and enjoy it too. We always appreciate people sharing these videos. It helps and encourages us to keep making more videos. At the end of this video, we'll put a link to our video on how to clean and sanitize dishes when somebody in your home is sick with COVID or other flu and viruses. Click on that video and we'll see you in the next video.